first as the seal of God. Let's speak of the mark of the beast. But not you can't speak of the seal of God. The mark of the beast is the counterfeit of the seal. Everything of God has been the adversary of the time, the counterfeit. Mm -hmm. He has his real laws in him, he has his counterfeit law. In order to know the counterfeit money, you have to know the real money. Otherwise, you can't know what is fake. Mm -hmm. So then, the, the, the enemy, which tries to replicate everything that Yahweh has, which is real, he comes up with the counterfeit. When you receive the mark of the beast, it's one of two places you can receive it according to the scripture. The translation is either in your forehead or in your hand. The revelation it is agreed by many of the prophetic and uh, not only most prophetic, it's also uh, horribly. When you repeat the Lord, you repeat the Lord. You So then, to read something in your hand, prophetically hand signifies work. Your mind is one guy over the head is going to remember the seed of God. There's only one place you can receive the mark of God. And the seed of God, rather. In your forehead. You can receive the seed of God in your hand. You need to notice that. The mark of God is one of two places. But there's only one place. You can receive the seed of God in your hand. All you need is in your forehead. They seal them in their forehead. So then, if you seal them, if you are going to identify the mark of the beast, I think it's even safe. I, I, I don't think it qualifies unless you can also identify the seal of God because the seal, they oppose each other. So if you're going to point to the mark of the beast, you're supposed to be able to point to the seal of God, which is the opposite of the mark of the beast. So my question to many is asking, what is the seal of God if you saw more the mark of the beast? Because one counterfeit the other, and the counterfeit have to come at least close. No, to receive something in your forehead means you believe in it. Right. You consciously accept it. You ask that uh, question? You ask that question when you see it I've got? No, I don't, I don't ask that yet. I'm just saying I've often asked that question to many because just like how oh, then go back to God and I think that's a question. What question? I'm telling what I know about this. I'm telling you what I know about this. I'm telling you that I know that this is believed to be where the mark of Jesus has spoken of in Revelation is going to be. But I'm saying I can't keep up face and understand it. And with uh, due respect to whatever other person believes, this is my belief as a man. Being that you can only receive the mark of the beast, the seed of God, one place, and you can receive the mark of the beast, one of two places. Understanding also, just like in Revelation, he speaks of church, he speaks of a woman, he means the church. I don't know if you can't cover that. I also know that you receive something in your hand, signifies the world. You receive something in your hand, signifies you believe in it. So, so what is the mark of the beast? So what is the mark of the beast? I believe the mark of the beast is opposing of God's law. What commandment? Anything? So that means everybody has the mark of the beast then? Not necessarily so. Because everybody opposes the laws at some point. Hold on, I said, I said, hold on, hold on. Specifically, the fourth commandment law. What we do? Again, it's not this idea. You see, but that's the law. But the scripture said, if you don't even break one law, you're fed up. Yes, man, I'm not okay. refusing that. Okay, okay. so, so, may I ask you again? What is the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast, I just answered it. Yes, sir. It is an opposing mark. The mark of the adversary so, opposes it. So all of us at some point have the mark of the beast. Because right now you're lying up. You're, 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 you're shame about the earth up. And like it is against the law. So do that. Which law? The laws of the scripture. Which law? The moral law? Which moral law? The ceremonial law? The Levitical, Levitical law. You have two types of laws. Yeah. See? Want to be a ceremonial law or any other type of law? What is it? 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 What is um, um, uh, animals to the, to the Lord. No, no, you yeah, yeah, skip the point. I never said that. Yes, if you don't do it, you don't do the No, 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 no. And that is at the point that we are trying to bring up. Where the point is, if you say the mark of peace is when you basically, um, disobey it. Right? No. Well, say it again. Mark of the beast, I don't understand it, is the direct opposition of the fourth command right. law. The fourth command law. That's not scripture. The seal of God. That is not scripture. But what is not scripture? Don't go to Revelation. Because first and first, remember, ask you, you know what I said? Just the word. What's the seal of God? The word. The spirit. The word. Let me ask you a question. You see, you know what I said? You said, before you know the mark, you need to know what to see. No, but you're wrong. If you know the mark, you need to know what is the beast. What is the beast? Yes, yes, brother. That, that you need to know.
know what is the beast? That's my question to you. See, not the seal. Because the seal is the word. You understand it? Which is the Holy Spirit. Which is given up to Father. See? It's not normal, but you see, saying, hold on. The reason yeah, it, yeah. Because you know, it can only be received where? In, in the minds of men. In the mind of men. So yes. This microchip is a mark of the beast which can receive in the kingdom. Where is the because Put it in there. As dark, well, as dark, already I know, you know, dark. You want your body acronym dark? Look at somebody, the poor of internet, they look up dark. See? Alright. Hear me, I say now. What is the beast? Beast and system. Beast and system. Who is that system now today? Huh? One man. 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 The paper said, What about the peace sign? Come here, this is the reason why I have a chart out here. He said, The peace with the seven heads and ten are his NATO. Right? And the EU. That's the beast. You understand? So when, when you read the scriptures, if you don't know what the beast, you can't know why mark, you can't know why image. Yeah, treaty. It's a NATO and the EU. The seven S are Germany, major Rome, French, Spain, German, minor, British, Greek, and the ten arms the EU, Belgium, Denmark, France, Italy, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Greece, Spain, Spain, Portugal, 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 so this is the beast with seven and ten on. Can I ask you a question? Come on, come on. Yes, seven and ten. The beast, yes, seven and ten. So we have a teacher. We have a teacher. We have a teacher. Let's come on, come on. Let's come on, come on. I want to ask you a question. The beast, six and seven mountain, right? German major, Rome, French, being German, and a Brit. What do you want mountain mean? Hey. What word mountain means? No, 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 no. Hey. What word mountain mean in the scriptures? What word mountain? Seven ends. Well, no, well, no. What word ills mean in the scriptures? Okay, the word ill mean a small government, and the word mountain mean a big major government. So the major government that the top of the Roman, the Roman Empire. That was one of the end of the beast. That's why I'm going to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you. You said, you said the beast is um, the paper. Eh? All right. The woman has a right to smell it. It's America. The woman has to the beast. That's it, sir. It's the religious power. The beast is a political power. Guided by the religious power. Sanctioned by the religious power. The political power is allegiance to this woman. What religious? What religion was the Rome, ancient Roman Empire? Yeah. Ancient Rome. Yeah. Ancient Rome. 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 What Romans become Christian? What Romans? Yeah. Who were those Romans? Who were those Romans? What nationality? The Romans. Who were those Romans? What nationality? What race of people? What race of people? They came from the uh, Romans. No, Romans are not Japanese. They're the first Romans. The true and the, the, right. the true Romans. And the true Greeks are, are Japanese. Japanese. But the Romans, but the Romans who come after Romulus and Remus, they are not Japanese people. Them, 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 them I jump. Another people custom. They are Edomites. No. The Roman Empire in the time of the true, what religion were they? Eh? The time, the time, like, what? Little times, when I have a history of the truth, because many people don't realize that all truth and truth are not all truth and truth. Yes, we know that. So we know that. I want to know. The reason why we said truth, because truth was the one dwelling in the land when the Roman and come and take Jerusalem. Not yeah. all the tribes. Not all the tribes. Even though Benjamin and even though Benjamin, even though Benjamin and Levi was there, the whole kingdom was called the kingdom of Judah. So we can see if it's a Jew. Alright? No. What religion were the, were the Romans then? Okay. The Roman them have a mixture of Greek mythology. 
know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah? Stop. Yes, you you, you agree. agree with that? Stop. Thank you very much. All right. No. Yes. yes. Mr. Wisdom. I see them people. Them. We don't appreciate it. We don't appreciate it. Holy Roman Empire, as we mentioned earlier, it's not the same people who rule the Holy Roman Empire. You know why? You see the American army today? So you have black generals in the American army? You notice that? And you have members of Congress and everything, we have black men. That's how Rome used to be. They used to, when they used to spread the military thing, they used, to, they used to bring in other nations as a part of them military. So what really happened, see, you know the Caesar them used to seize Rome, used to get Rome as, as, as a ruler in Rome, then go to war, and when they go to war and come back victorious, they, 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 they assume what is a position as um, a Caesar. Now you have men that are so-called black men who did the same. Coming down to 3, 20, um, 325 AD, see? That's when the white Roman Empire fought. And it become the Byzantine Empire, ruled by so called black men. So Constantine and all the men that coming down the line in the 1400s in the Catholic Church, as you call it, all black men. First puts. All so called black men. You know what I mean? So, the Roman Empire was Israelites basically bringing in the, um, the scriptures in the settings and incorporating the paganistic custom of them in the scriptures. See, Israelites brought up the scriptures them in the time from Constantine. Yeah, the call system and I see all that. By bringing in the Trinity doctrine, you know, bringing in the, the virgin birth and all of that. Yeah? So, when we are talking about peace now, see? And the mark of the peace, or the image of the peace, see? The scripture of the peace and the peace of the Lord, give me that, brother. I want to show you when the peace is going to the Lord, you know. I want to show you, sir, the base before it is the world that has nothing to do with the Holy Scriptures. That's what I ask you, what religion were they in the time of the Lord? The word of Roman, the God. I don't know, 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 I tell you, again, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I Driving Babylon back then, so oh, how did it come like that? I mean, that today? was when we came, when the Middle Persian came into us, and when we came, who was the first one to come to the Empire? All right, who was the only of the four empires looking out for that sense of religious to do that? Okay, that's what the continent of the Pinpoint is the point in time when the Romans moved over to Jerusalem. What religion were they? See, because that is the beast, the scripture mentioned it, not the one. Will come after the 325. The one to come after 
is the what? Byzantine Empire. When I speak about the Byzantine Empire, I'm speaking about what? One. The Pope of Jake in Jerusalem. What religion were they? Because the thing is, you know, if you ever said Christianity has something to do with um, the Christians, then have something to do with the peace today and was um, a part of the peace today. We have some people from my inconsistency. So watch Military, only Israelites was a part of the army, um, um, living the Greek culture alone before was part. So, anybody you see, 